hello youtube welcome back to my video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can install apache tomcat your windows pc and further how can use that install tomcat uh, server in an eclipse id to start a web application first just go to your browser and search for apache tomcat so once you search it in the first link itself you will get uh, the official uh, website apache tomcat.org just click on that it will take you to official website of apache and where you can see here in the download section you can see uh, the versions of current versions of all apache uh, tomcat which is released so as you can see here uh, the la the latest one is apache tomcat 9 uh, to install apache tomcat 9 you can see here uh, in the download section apache tomcat 9 is there so just click on that and just go down where you can see windows uh, 32 bit or 64 bit service installer installer okay so i'll be going with this one windows service installer so just click on that and uh, the tomcat will start the downloading it automatically here it is it's only 9 mb so just wait for the download to be completed yes uh, the download has been completed this is the apache tomcat 9 installer so just open it and once you open it you will get uh, the installation uh, welcome screen now just click next and just uh, click on i agree so we'll be going with the default option only just click on next and now it will ask for your tomcat administrator login username and password okay so i'm just giving it this admin and giving admin as the password you can give anything and now just click on next and it will automatically detect your jre location uh, in your pc okay so this is my jre location which is installed in my pc now just click on now if it's not detected just navigate to the location uh, where you have installed most probably it will be in your uh, program files uh, inside java jre okay so if you don't know how to install a java in your pc i have another video for that just search in my videos how to install java in your pc now just click next and here is the location where we are going to install our tomcat 9 it will be by default in c program files apache tomcat uh, apache software foundation tomcat 9 and just click next and it will start the installation and wait for your installation to be completed okay it's a normal process yes uh, the installation has been completed this uh, so this is the final uh, finish uh, screen which, uh, which give, uh, gives us the confirmation installation is successful now i'm going to run that apache tomcat server just uh, check this one and just click finish and uh, there will be a progress bar just wait for uh, it to be completed okay it is completed now to test uh, the apache server is working fine just go to your uh, browser and just first search for localhost uh, colon 8080 so this was our default port number which we gave on installation okay now just uh, type this and just press enter once uh, you get the home screen of apache tomcat 9 which means uh, your installation is successful okay now uh, you can see here uh, in the notification tab there is a, a green uh, icon which means our server is running so i can just manually stop and uh, start here so i'm just uh, stopping this if i'm just stopping this service from here just uh, try to stop it now we can see here how you, the green has changed to red which means that the apache tomcat server is stopped now if i'm just refreshing this one it won't work okay so hope you got this you can how you can install tomcat server in your windows pc now i'm going to uh, show you how you can use this tomcat server which we have installed just now uh in uh, in a web project using eclipse id okay so this is my eclipse id if you don't have your eclipse id here just go to the description i have another video for that i'm going to get, create a new dynamic web project here which will uh, further use it to uh, host it in a, in this uh, local host tomcat server okay so i'm uh, giving the name as uh, uh, test okay i'm just giving the web name uh, uh, the project name as test so all others i am uh, putting it as default i am not going to change anything just click finish and wait for your project to be loaded yes uh, the project has been created a dynamic web project where i can create my jsp files uh, inside this web content okay 
so let me create new a jsp file here just go to new the file name i'm giving it as jsp and let it be index.jsp so there is an error here i'll show you how you can rectify that one so before that i'm just giving a header tag here just to uh, give a message in my index page so i'm giving it as hello world jsp from Gnu. okay i have just uh, given a message here now i'm just going to uh, add a server here okay there is no servers available here so to add a server just uh, click on this one where it will uh, ask to which type of server which we want to use so we are going to use apache and we'll be using apache tomcat version 9 which is the one we have just installed now just select on this one just pr uh, press next and here it is it will ask for the tomcat installation directory okay just click on browse and navigate the location where you have installed your uh, your apache tomcat server so it's in uh, c drive program files where you can see apache tomcat foundation and here it is apache tomcat 9 just navigate till that and press ok and just click next and you can add your test database i mean test project to that one configure and just click finish to uh, to configure uh, the tomcat version 9 i mean the tomcat server for the this project here so uh, the error is still there so we have to uh, to remove that error i'll go to the properties and where you can see here the target runtimes where your runtime uh, server will be there just tick on that and press apply and press ok so that error would have gone now okay now let's uh, try running this application to run this just uh, right click on the index.jsp select run as just select run on server and you have to select your server just select that server and just click next and just click finish and wait for your tomcat uh, server to be started for your application okay if when you uh, when you are running this for the first time it will ask uh, for the windows uh, firewall access just click on allow access okay yes you can see here the project has been run so this is the project which we have just run when you are copying this one to the now I had to copy the complete path here. Here it is. Okay. So hope you got this. How you can install a Tomcat server in your Windows PC and you can use that same Tomcat server to run a web application in Eclipse ID. Okay. So if you have any doubt in this, uh, please comment below. I'll be helping you. And please like and subscribe for my videos. And thanks for watching.